What is up guys, this is Keywack here, and welcome back to the Pokemon X Genlock. Um, last time, we... what did we do? We chose our starter, which was Chespin, now named Paladin. And we also got our Pokeballs, which means the Nuzlocke has officially began, and we're going to attempt to get our first encounter now. Um, and I believe on Route 1 in this game, you can pretty much throw a Pokeball at anything and it'll get caught. And that, that's an eligible encounter to the Genlock, since that is a Gen 6 Pokemon. So, Fletchling, not bad, considering it's a fire type. And, um, keep in mind, the only Gen 6 Pokemon I have used is, um, Delphox and Vavillion, or whatever it's called. Because Delphox, I chose Fennekin and Froakie. Um, I chose Fennekin as my starter the first time I played through X. I didn't even finish it, I got to the Elite Four and stopped. And, um... V Vivillion, I only used that a little bit, but I just caught a Scatterbug, and I just pretty much got a Vivillion, or whatever it's called, and yeah, I just used it. But alright, Fletchling, we're gonna actually keep that with the team, because that will be a fire type eventually, which is good coverage. Alright, the Fletchling's nickname, um, I don't know, I'm gonna name you, I'll name you Sparrow, but that's too much like Spiro. Um... I'm gonna just name you, I know it's kind of cheesy, but Fletcher, which is kind of funny considering, Fletch it? No, not Fletch it, Fletcher. It's kind of funny considering my boss's name, or my, the name of the shop I work at is Fletcher's. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of funny. Kind of funny, a little funny. Alright, let me um save just so I'm not like paranoid. But alright, Fletcher, we got Fletcher with us now. Um, let's check him out. Check him out. Alright, um, what, what attacks do you have? Do you have Peck? Um, you know, you have Tackle and Growl, which ain't bad. Ain't bad. Um, I don't know, I'm not gonna use you yet. I'm probably gonna grind you up in between episodes. But yeah, okay, that's, uh, that's cool. Got our first encounter, and now, gonna have a battle with this kid. <laughs> when two trainers eyes meet a Pokemon map... Battle, battle. A Pokemon battle must begin. <laughs> Alright, um, I don't know why I'm looking at the clock this series. I actually have a timer set on this one. Which is convenient, and I might start doing for my other mic like when I do it. So it's a series on a console, like where is my phone? I don't know where my. Oh, it's right in front of me. It's right. Right here. I might start setting a timer on that, but alright. Um, kind of vine whip that zigzagoon. Yeah, it did over half. That's good. That's good. Oh, excuse me. All right. All right. All right. Oh. Um. So I don't know if anybody who is watching this video is familiar with my channel. I would assume so. But uh, I talk about wanting to stream more often. The only game I've streamed right now is like I streamed like a second from Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> For just no reason, and then I streamed a speedrun of Sonic Adventure 2 and a speedrun of Sonic Adventure the, f the first game. And I'm thinking about starting streaming RuneScape. I bought this today because I want to get back into it. Um, I'm going to start playing it again at least, even just a little bit. And oh, what's going on? Wait up, let's walk together. I feel like something exciting will happen if I stay by you. I'll hear your Pokemon whenever you want me to. Alright, that's actually cool. Alright, what is this? This is a potion. And Serena's over there. I see her on the right of my screen. I'm not gonna worry about her just yet. I feel like there's a few more items I could grab. There's one right there. Potion. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Um, What's over here? Another item. And remember our first encounter. I'm using Dupes Claws, which I don't know if I really mentioned before. <laughs> But our first Gen 6 encounter that we have not already encountered as a first before will count. So if I if this is a Fletchling, it doesn't count, even though it is Gen 6. It's a Pikachu, which also doesn't count because that's not Gen 6. Unfortunately, a Pikachu would have been pretty cool. And I kind of wish they would have done what they did to Pikachu to all Pokemon, how Pikachu actually has its own cry now. Or, I guess they all have their own cry, but it's actually a peek, a peek, like, like, I make, it makes an actual Pikachu noise, um, 
pick up Pikachu, but it doesn't like all the other Pokemon are still just some weird noise, like some 8 bit sort of growl. Oh, my ears need to pop. I'm, I'm kind of sick. I don't know if you could hear it in my voice, but I have a cold, so I've been really congested, um, which is not fun. Like, they just start talking. San Lu Forest, huh? Yeah, first I'll observe. Yeah, you can't even read what they're saying. A battle! Yeah, okay, so yeah, they, this is just freaking wild. Oh, hang on! One second, Q Cub. I forgot they call me Cub. I should have made a Cubo. Look what I found, Cub. I'll give it to you. I love puzzles, so I watch everything more closely than you might think. Why is that a puzzle? <laughs> oh, God. The storyline is so bad. Just kidding. The storyline isn't the best in this game. Um... Oh, my ears, dude. I don't know. I feel like nobody really has too much of a personality in this game. Which is kind of disappointing. But it looks nice. It, it looks really nice. Does not look as nice as Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, though. <laughs> Oras, um, is just so much better. And I heard other... I've heard people say that in two different ways. I've heard Oras, or Oras. And I've heard Oras. I say o I say Oras. Um, because I, I, I feel like Omega Ruby would be Or, and then Alpha Sapphire is As, rather than Ors. Um, because Is isn't really, if you, if it was just an A and an S, but okay, Fletchling. Huh, I'll keep battling, uh, because I don't expect it to have any fire type attacks, or even flying type attacks. Fletchling is like the triple F, like, flying, fire, Fletchling, I don't know. Um, uh, <laughs> Rollout would actually be really, ooh. That's a good thing to keep in mind. If I ever encounter any, um, like, like, Talon Flames later on, perfect attack would be a Rock-type attack, because, um, it's quad effective, so that is a good thing to keep in mind. A really good thing to keep in mind. Alright, I really want to get my first encounter in here already. Eligible encounter, that is. <laughs> I love it how he doesn't talk to his Fletchling at all. He said, cheer up, Scatterbug. Cheer up, Scatterbug. Fletchling doesn't matter. What the heck's with these people, man? Another Pikachu with the heart-shaped tail, because it's a female. Um, we're not going to worry about that. Well, I th no, the heart-shaped tail has been around for a while. Never mind. I was going to say, I think that that might be new to Gen 6. We're catching it. Just kidding. Um... A Weedle? That's not eligible at all, which is a good thing to me. I would have counted that as eligible in Gen um, 6 or in ORS, though, because, um, my ears, dude. But in ORS, there is a Mega B drill, and I think I want to count, that's our first encounter, there we go. But I think I want to count Pokemon with Mega Evolutions, but I'm only going to allow one Mega Evolution on my team at all, at a time. Which would mean I can't have a Charizard and a Lucario like I did in my normal playthrough. But, um, yeah, I'm considering that. That is not a for sure thing, because there's no Gen 6 Megas. So, I wouldn't really be able to use the new features of Gen 6. Which are kind of what makes it what it is, in a way, almost. Without having, um... I always freaking pick up this blanket, I don't know why. Probably doing good level 9 for catching it. I think that's pretty cool, you get experience for catching too. But Scatterbug, what are we going to name the Scatterbug? Do I want to keep it? I think I'm going to keep it on my team for now. And you're a girl. So I'm going to give you another, um, another really basic name for you, but Vivi. Just because Vavillion and you're going to be a Vavillion, right? Alright. I think so. I think you're going to be a Vavillion, right? Let's hope. Ugh. Alright. Um. Right, there's a Weedle. There is a Weedle that I don't need to worry about. Run! Screw your Weedle and your Beedrill. It's all about Caterpie and Butterfree. Do you have any Pokeballs? Why? Here you go. Oh. Okay. Random? Not gonna complain. Alright. Trainer battle. Your Pokemon are in for a shock. Oh, you're gonna have a Pikachu or a 
Some sort of electric type, right? Yup, I knew it. Oh, foreshadowing. I don't know why that's foreshadowing at all. Oh, you're actually a male one. I think the I think the male and the female had a different cry. I swear that is so cool if they did. That is really cool. I think the female one is like Pika Pika, or I don't know. And then that one's just like Pika. Pretty sure my parents are downstairs laughing at me right now because <laughs> I was recording a future video of Wind Waker and I was just cracking up about it. Uh, oh, by the way, I just realized this video is gonna be up the day after Christmas, so Merry Christmas, everybody who um who I didn't say it to. But yeah, um, but oh, dude, it was just I was it was the funniest thing in Wind Waker happened, and I was just laughing so hard, and I found out just now that it actually like my my dad was just cracking up downstairs because they heard me they could hear me usually when i record if nobody else is talking that's not even worth it battling her isn't even worth it i really want to catch a pikachu you do do you well i would help you but you see pikachu's a gen one we're in gen six this is a gen lock you're not even you're not even allowed to catch a pikachu i don't care she can't catch a pikachu pan seer i kind of wish you guys the pan seer the pan trio would have been um gen 6 but it isn't i didn't mean to do that i did not mean to do that <laughs> okay stop grabbing the blanket chupo i keep on every time i record this blanket is just happens to be on the floor right there and i just grab it i just like the way it feels because it's cold and cold blankets are my life okay just kidding just kidding, cold blankets are pretty nice, so I love getting in bed with the bottom of the blankets being cold. Especially in summer. Oh. It's great. Alright, let's head on up. Oh, cutscene alert. So, you're the first to arrive. Looks like my new neighbor is someone with a lot of potential. My ears, dude. The way Pokemon move, it's just incredible. I want to show off some of that spirit when I dance. Tierno, no. Could you think about something besides how Pokemon move for once? We're all here. Let's go to Santa Loon City. <gasps> oh, you see that? We were all moving. We were moving to my order. What are you all going to do? Why, well, look for Pokemon, of course. The professor did ask us to complete the Pokedex after all. And furthermore, different Pokemon prefer living in different places. So put it another way, it's a chance to find different Pokemon than the ones in the forest. I'll bet different Pokemon will use different moves. I'm I sure want to see a lots of moves. What are you going to do, Serena? I'm going I'm going to the Santa Loon City Gym and challenge the gym leader. You see, Pokemon trainers find out how good they are by challenging the leaders in Pokemon gyms. Wow, you sure know a lot! It's because mom and dad taught me so much. Here, yeah, I have so something for you guys. Adventure rules. I wrote down 10 different tips every trainer should know. Here's one for you. Just me. She doesn't say that for everybody else. She just gives it to me. Here's one for you. Nobody else. If you're puzzled about something, try looking at these rules. Oh, this is great. I'm going to spend some time getting to know my little Froakie. What are you going to do, cub? Um, uh, not talk to you. Duh. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't talk to my haters. Mommy told me I should battle anyone who greets me. That makes so much sense. I read that the first time I played this, and my logic was, why the heck would your mother tell you to have a Pokemon battle with anybody that would greet you? You're a kindergartner. It said so in the freaking thing. No. She meant, if a stranger ever greets them, to fight. Right there, guys. Public service announcement from Game Freak and Pokemon. That... That caught me up by surprise. Alright, I really want to get the EXP shit already. I don't even remember where I get it, but I know I get it. I know I get it. I know it. Right. Oh, you're gonna splash, are ya? That's okay. That is just fine by me, Ezreal. You freaking little fairy type. I think you're a fairy. Yeah, I think so. 
I think it's normal fairy and then it goes to water fairy. I don't know, something like that. <laughs> Alright. There's gonna be another kindergartner telling me that their mom told in the battle. Pokemon battles are really hard. I just let Pichu do what it wants. Aww. Ain't that just the cutest little thing? You're challenged by preschool, not even kindergarten! What are you doing on the streets? These preschoolers are just roaming the plains in the roots with their Pokemon looking for trouble. I am disappointed. Where are your parents at, young ones? What is going on? I didn't even realize. This time, I always tend to do this. If I play through a game without Let's Playing it, my nose is just killing me. But if I play through a game without Let's Playing it, I do not pay as much attention to the story. And then I finally do Let's Play it, and everything just becomes so much more clear. I make inference. Pichu's dead. Inference. I never knew Pichu died. Never. Just kidding. I knew I killed Pichu. Pichu doesn't get to live. Alright, um... Alright, yeah, it's getting dark. It's getting dark on the roof. Oh! Coming through! That never made sense either. That is such a waste of cutscene. Alright, Santa Loon City. Alright, um... Let's just take a seat. Screw playing Pokemon. Let's just look at that nice statue. Kidding. Um... I think we just get them straight from her. <laughs> Our rollerblades. Hey, stranger, isn't cruising around town on roller skates the best thing ever? Wait, do you mean to tell me that you don't even own a pair of roller skates? Then how about this? If you beat me in a Pokemon battle, I'll give you a pair. I can never say no in a contest. Um, yes. Alright, I should have healed up, but I didn't. <laughs> All you got is one Pokemon. It's a Zigzagoon. That's no problem. The only problem right now is how stuffy my nose is. Yeah, that kind of sucks, my stuffed nose. I didn't mean to tackle. I did not mean to tackle at all. <laughs> oh, God, dude. I really need to blow my nose ASAP. Pop my ears, dude. That didn't help at all. My right ear. Yeah, I do. I have to do some weird jaw movement like that to pop my ears. It's weird. It doesn't work right now, but it's just so bad right now. My right ear is just stuffed to death. It's just stuffed to death. Alright, let's um, let's continue playing. Okay. Defeat a Zigzagoon, and we got level 11. Damn, Paladin is just getting up there. We need a level up Fletcher and uh, Vivi, Vivi though. So, what are you trying to learn? Fight. Um, I do kind of want to... Oh, no, no, no. I want to get rid of Growl. Growl is pointless to me. Okay, my hair is just probably freaking wild. Alright. We got Growl, and we learned Bite. Sweet. Nice. Alright. So, you wrapped up the battle before I could reach my top speed. She should have had a Pokemon of speed boost. She should have had a Pokemon of speed boost with a line like that. W wow, that was amazing. You might even be stronger than a gym leader. All right, here you go. One spiffy pair of roller skates, just as I promised. Why do you have extra? The only way I could see you giving me your extra pair is... I don't need those instructions, I already know. The only way I could see you um, giving me an extra pair making sense is if you had like an old pair, like you gave me your old crappy roller skates so that you can keep your own just because you're greedy. Greedy. Alright, let's heal. Oh, oh Tier, no, here he comes to show me Pokemon centers. Oh, hey there, Cub. Oh, I forget his voice. Are you here? Are you here to get Pokemon heal too? Pokemon centers sure are great. You can talk to the leader lady at the or the lady at the counter or have her and have her your whole Pokemon. And you can even deposit Pokemon your cart into that PC. Know how Pokemon are sent to a PC when you've caught more than you can carry? That's where they go. Oh yeah, Cub! There's a Pokemon in the back of the Pokemon Center. It's a good idea to stock up on that. Okay. Get out of here, Tierno. I don't need your crap. I just need to heal up. Alright. Dun 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 dun! Alright. 
Alright, we have reached our time, so I, um, I guess we're gonna end this video here then, guys. So, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like to show your support. And as always, I am Keyboard, I am signing out, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace! I... Bye.